few minutes after President Bola Ahmed Tinubu sacked Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN Governor Godwin Emerfield from office to pave way for ongoing investigation in the CBN, Nigeria Secret Police, Department of State Services, DSS has reportedly arrested the ousted governor. PM News in a report few hours ago indicated that Godwin Emerfield was arrested few moments after he was suspended from office and asked to hand over the affairs of his office to the CBN deputy governor in charge of operations, Folasheden Adebisi Shanubi on Friday. Unconfirmed reports also indicated that under Godwin Emerfield as CBN governor, most kidnappers collected ransom from their kidnapped victims via bank accounts or bank transfers without the owner or owners of such accounts being tracked or blocked by the CBN, which is a regulatory body for all bank activities in Nigeria. The suspension, according to sources, was a democratic and diplomatic way to sack the apex bank governor by the president. It would be recalled that the DSS had made several attempts to arrest and detain the ousted CBN governor, Godwin Emerfield, during the administrative era of President Muhammadu Buhari, but Federal High Court halted the DSS moves on the ground that there was no presidential approval for such arrest. According to the statement issued by Willie Bassi, the Director of Information in the Office of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Godwin Emerfield was suspended due to the ongoing investigation of his office and the planned reforms in the financial sector of the economy. Before Godwin Emerfield's suspension, the DSS, on December 7, 2022, in an expert application with reference number, FHC slash ABJ slash CS slash 2255 slash 2022 sought an order to arrest the CBN governor. DSS alleged that Goodwin Emerfield was found to be financing terrorism, fraudulent activities, and economic crimes of national security dimension to cause political instability in Nigeria. Chief Judge of the Federal High Court, Justice J. Dotti Soho, however, refused to grant the application of the DSS. Accordingly, the court said such an application should have been accompanied with the presidential approval because of the grave implications for the Nigerian economy if the CBN governor is arrested and detained. Also, it would be recalled that one of the planned financial reforms in the economy sector initiated by Godwin Emerfield was NARA redesign and cashless policy which resulted to NARA scarcity in the month of February 2023. Many businesses suffered setbacks as a result of the NARA scarcity. Many Nigerians groaned until the Supreme Court of Justice ruled and ordered the continuous use of the old 1,000 Nigerian Nairas, 500 Nigerian Nairas, 200 Nigerian Nairas notes till December 31, 2023 when the new Naira notes must have been in wider circulation.